the time has come. Me. How, how happy are you? <laughs> oh, man. She has been missing home for many reasons. Obviously, it's her home, and we couldn't visit for years. So now, after more than three and a half years, we're back. We are in Liu Zhou. We're gonna go visit all of her family, but I'm not. I'm not exaggerating. But first, we're coming to the noodle shop. So the snail noodles are famous China-wide and now becoming Asia-wide. Liu Zhou Luo Sifan is becoming a like single word name, but the Luo Sifan is the dish. The snail noodles are so famous from Guangxi, and yep, oh. they want us to make a video. <laughs> I was about to ask, should I not be videoing? And she said, no, 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 get a bigger camera. See ya. Jin Wang Luo Si Fen. Fen is the rice noodle. Luo Si is the snails. This is the snail noodle. Name of the shop is Jin Wang. So the golden riches of snail noodles, that's partially my own translation, but it's kind of accurate. Even of the, the districts that I know, I, as a foreigner, I know four districts by name just because of their noodle dishes. So all over China, Luosifan has become famous just in the past few years. This snail noodle recipe has just blown up. <laughs> Me to make sure if you can eat spicy. I said oh. you can eat spicy, but you have, you can eat spicy, but you have, you go to filming a little bit. She's so cute. Oh my god. Yeah, so cool. Like. Oh, we better find it in the kitchen. I'm not gonna pass this up. Oh man, this is amazing. We are back, babe. We are back. Is Her chopsticks too are beautiful. They're huge. Those are the cooks. Thank you. I do not deserve such treatment. These are the two ladies excited to be here, specifically my wife. It's been three and a half years since she has had her last authentic rolls of fun. We've had packaged versions, which are pretty good, especially when she adds extra ingredients. But this is the boss rolls of fun in Liu Zhou. So the name Liu Zhou has now become synonymous with this specific recipe of noodles in a land famous for noodles. So Liu Zhou Luo Si Fan, even in Thailand one time, we were walking through the market and I said, oh, in Liu Zhou, when you eat Luo Si Fan, we heard, yeah, shukta shukta Liu Zhou Luo Si Fan. And Li said, oh, Guangxi Ren, oh. Even in Thailand, yeah, even, even in Thailand, the name of this dish has become known. So we did come here to eat this, but I was just hanging back. I was just enjoying in their excitement. And then the lady behind the counter, she says, come back here, come back here. I want to prove to you this is the real deal. Snails. So the snails are what make this soup broth so hard to make. The, the authentic flavor is all about those snails. So check this out. She's proving it to you right here. This lady is amazing. Yeah, she is a she is a gangster of this dish. And she hooked it up. Okay, back at the table. We've got the la chang, we've got the tofu, we've got to a uh, to ji dan, and then underneath uh ja Fuju, that's right, the tofu tofu skin. Underneath, the rice noodles, but the amount of pickled ingredients in this thing is crazy. You can smell it for a kilometer. 
when someone is cooking this dish, it makes all people from this province so happy in their heart, it makes my wife weak in the knees in a way that I might actually be jealous of. <laughs> you've got bean sprouts pickled, you've got bamboo, you've got beans, you've got, uh, what else is pickled in here? The woodier mushrooms, yep, and then peanuts. Everything is about that just mega, the overdose of umami. It's something that many people actually hate because it's so strong smelling and so strong flavor, but okay, and then last but not least, the way that you pick how spicy you want to make it is also from that soup broth because there's so much chili in that soup broth, but the chili oil rises to the top. So the chef will scoop down if you want not so spicy. She'll do like half-half if you want medium, and then if you want very spicy, she'll take a scoop of the oil off the top and anoint your dish. And I think she did that twice with this one. Lee said, spicy. I've been missing it so much, I gotta have it super spicy. So please, yeah, look at the color. And that's the color that will be stuck to your lips. I know that. Oh man, so the rice noodles are underneath. Slurps of happiness coming. Mm. Last. Mm. Lee, how do you let me have this first? Mm. I remember I've been burned by this before. It was years ago. Lee is wondering if I forgot. If I forgot. So it's tofu, but it's light because there's air inside, and then soup broth makes its way in there. Mm. Oh wow. No, it's just airy. It's airy tofu. Here, check that out. Oh, it soaks up the soup. Okay. So you open it, you dunk it, and then you bite again. Yeah, that can get hot in a, in a hurry. Oh. It's so tasty. Okay, so morning glory. Switching, switching gears. It's fresh morning glory, but the other ingredients are pickled. Mm. It's so awesome that there's fresh ingredients too. I've never seen the addition of potato either, right? Have you seen this one before? Yeah, they have, but I never order. Mm. I always order the basic one, but then you go to super V, 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 I, P, one. Thank you. Thank you. Every time, every trip in China. If there's ever a period of a few hours where we don't eat, I start to think, oh, maybe we're actually going to have a light day today. I can maybe get a workout in, get a bike ride in. And then Leah's like, Joel, what are, you, what are you talking about? We're five minutes away from another crazy delicious meal. Get ready. Get ready, bro. We're going for it. Okay, one more thing. This might be my favorite part. This egg. Oh man, it's just coming apart at the seams. Oh. oh my gosh. So it's a chicken egg. That one's been fried. But there were also chicken eggs you saw in that soup broth. Oh my gosh. Okay, Lee. It's coming your way. Last bite for me. Ultimate satisfaction. Also fun. Wow. That is a yeah, boss version right there. So tasty. <laughs> I can eat this every day, no doubt. I know my mom 
not gonna be so red. Okay, so of all the things Lee has taught me about this dish, I know you gotta go mega on the sourness, you gotta bump up the spice. It's about that chili oil, and also what she just said, you might have a, you have a chili oil mustache, but Lee also said there is a way to cool down during the dish. She really enjoys this sweet tofu drink, like this uh, soy milk, excuse me, soy juice drink. I see it over there in the cabinet. She asked, uh, we're gonna upload the video. Oh, cool. I say, That's very cool. Uh, mm. Hey, the potato is a great addition. We've never had potato in it before. Yeah. Right? The lachang is very sweet. I'm surprised by this flavor because it doesn't go with the rest. It's very good, but it doesn't go with the rest of the flavor. Yeah. Mm. The morning glory, though, I've always loved the mixture of like five pickled and fermented things and then all that morning glory. It's so tasty. The pear is, it works so well. Mm. You ate all the egg. Yeah, that thing was amazing. Yeah. Mm. Walking here, trying to find this one, we passed at least 20. Do you think? Maybe more. More than I that. mean, okay, yeah. Every corner. <laughs> it's not hard to find. Picking your favorite, though, is a quest that is well worth the, the journey. How do you say, in the city, in the world, the most is more than I believe you. That's amazing to think of. Lee said, in Liuzhou, the, the shops selling this noodle dish outnumber 7-Elevens in Thailand. Not the whole Thailand? Yeah. You think like that one that you know? Yeah, okay, so basically, yeah, that's a good comparison. In 7-Eleven, in the big city, every street has one or two 7-Elevens in sight at all times. That's a good comparison. Yeah, this recipe in Liuzhou, same, same deal. chili heat immediately, but then you start again. That's the fun part. <laughs> Got a bonus. So how normal is this in Luosifan when people order the tofu, the la or the tu tu Oh, yeah. And the duck feet, that's right. Yeah. How, how common is this? I've always seen this, but I haven't seen the other things. Yeah, but other things, um, like different restaurants and have their own recipe, and some people come to like specifically these are like you eat the number who so many number but this shop had a special one, but some people like those special. And that makes sense. Also is like maybe the long fat tofu, mm -hmm. the one over by Sun's room. Oh yeah. That was Any tofu, just a bite, you put it in Oh, 
好吃，好吃，好吃啊！谢谢阿姨，好啊好啊，好欢迎欢迎你啊！下次再来，下次 OK OK。啊啊啊！呃，明，今天找找，今天找他、呃，我们来，我们来，去广州，去广州啊，广州，广州，广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广州，去广他带带狗，带狗，带狗，好啊好。原汁原味。合适狗喂就得了，合适你狗喂就得了。Oh yes, my heart very happy. 好好好好，欢迎欢迎你，下次再来哦。谢谢阿姨，谢谢，不用借，不用借，不用借。谢谢阿姨，啊，不用借，不用借，不用借，不用借，不用借，不用借，不用借，谢谢你，谢谢你们哦，谢谢你们来帮助我，啊啊啊，不用借，不用借。Good. She's cool. Yeah. yeah. So nice. We, yeah, we can come back here for sure. I wouldn't be surprised if Lee has this every day of our whole trip. I won't be surprised. Yeah. Wow. So there you go. You don't need an outro from me. That was amazing. She's so cool. She invited us straight in. We were in the restaurant for like 20 seconds before she already pulled us into the kitchen. Let me show you some stuff. That's really a blessing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Wow. She deserves all these customers for sure. That, that goes to bunnies. Stunning. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Go. We have the money. This is for you. She awesome. And maybe it's her son or nephew, but he was also taking care of us. He's very friendly also. Wow. Mm. That's the kind of food experience. The food puts you to bed very happy, very satisfied, but my heart is also satisfied that we got to hang out with such a cool auntie. This, this place is awesome. I think we will be back. Man, she even gave us water like to send us on our way. That's amazing. Good night. See you again soon. Get ready for much more action here in Liuzhou, right in the downtown. Killer place for those who love to travel for food. Bye 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 it is good to be back. I mean, I didn't even think people in the big city were unfriendly. I would not even say that. It was just normal, normal big city life. But now we are back, like, at home, you know? Liuzhou is not a small, small town, but and can you, you stand can feel it. Yeah. Can you stand next to this cutie? Oh my gosh. Lee wants a car like this. Uh, it has two seats. The whole city is this car now. Yeah, that's true. I do love the electric nature of the traffic here. You hear that? Or do you not hear that? The road has about 50 people driving, but it's totally quiet. You just hear the tires on the pavement. I love that about China too. A lot of things I love about China. It's great to be back. Yahoo! <laughs> See all those cutie? Okay, okay, okay. Wow, look at the moon. Okay. How true, how true, how true.